Parks asked me a couple weeks back if I would give a hymn for this Sunday. I said, sure, Parks. That's not a problem. It's something that's favorite to me, and so I index back and forth between Christmas and Easter hymns in my mind. That really wasn't that hard. Then last week he said, we well, got to get up and tell why you like the song. All right, I got you back. So the day I come in about 15 minutes early for the service, and Catherine said, you got the lowdown? I said, no. She said, well, come in. She went through the lowdown. I said, well, you're going to give me a mic, right? She said, well, I'll get you a mic. I said, yeah, because like some of you here, I was raised Baptist. And I said, I can't stand behind this little <laughs> square box and talk to you about what makes me happy in music. Uh, I don't have my dad's vocal cords. He sang. He still does. He's a great singer. But uh, I can get up in front and talk to you about <clears throat> this song I'm going to sing. Now, I'll give you a little bit of Presbyterian, so I'll go back to the box. <laughs> Robert Lowry was born in Philadelphia. Pennsylvania, March 12, 1826. Educated at Lewisburg University. Received his ordination as a Baptist minister. His first charge at Westchester, Pennsylvania. From there, he traveled to New Jersey, from Philadelphia, New Jersey, and then into New York, where he took on the charge of the Second Baptist Church and was associated with some of the most popular Sunday school hymns ever written, 1820. 1865, 1871, 1873, 1874, 1877. So, this song for me, you know, it's a little bit like uh, Tina Turner's rolling, rolling on the rhythm. It starts out slow, but it finishes real strong, okay? And if Michael, we could start the song, we're going to start the music, we're going to play the music, Am I going to sing the music? <laughs> All right, so everybody's got their song? Okay, so here's how we do this.
Well, you look left, look right, look back, look forward, look up, look wherever you want to look. You know, life is right now. It's not yesterday. It's not tomorrow. It is right now. And it reminds me of, <clears throat> I got things to do. I got people to see. I got places to go. And I've got to live my life right now. Since I was raised Presbyterian, I don't have trouble staying in the box. <laughs>
It is no wonder that the lyrics for him seem to flow out of her with such ease. As the story goes, Fanny was visiting her wealthy friend, Phoebe Knapp. Knapp is in founder of Met Life. Phoebe was playing the piano. When finished, she asked Fanny, what do you think that tune says? And Fanny immediately replied, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. The fact that this hymn was written by two women definitely appeals to my feminist inclinations. So as we sing this hymn this morning, I will not only hear your voices, but also the voices of my dad and other relatives raised in glorious, harmonious praise and song.